Oh, squat high. Hey, f you. Oh, squat high. Let's do it. The camera's from the front. It's hard to tell. God, squat high. Get your. I don't need your bullshit. The rest of you handsome SOBs, welcome. Squats and deadlifts. Cardio. The gig. Thanks, DJ. Whoo, out of breath. Uh, cops are here. A lot of questions why I'm pulling conventional and maybe what I've trained or what I've changed in training to maybe uh, help negate some of this back pain going forward or for it from happening again. Now, disclaimer. This is for me. After training 10 years, talking to multiple professionals and figuring these things out for me. So I'm not saying that these things hurt someone's back, that you should do these things or that these will hurt anybody's back. But for me and what I can handle at this stage in my training, considering my lifestyle, considering my morphology, et cetera, et cetera, uh, I can train a good amount of volume, have fun and still make gains when I, and not hurt my back, when I put the bar a little bit higher on my back um, have a closer stance and really try to stay upright. I tend to recover pretty good, although my overall weight that I move is probably less. I think I would be a little bit stronger with the lower bar position, uh, getting a little bit more torso lean. My back, considering again all these factors of, of my history, my training, my back issues and hip issues going all the way back to like eighth grade, can't handle it right now. So um, I do feel good and recover well with the bar pretty high, closer stance, trying to, and, and who doesn't want to build the quads? Summer, summer's coming, you know, to get a little teardrop popping out of the, the shorts isn't a bad thing. So we're doing that. Uh, conventional pulls, a lot of people commented that I'm going back to over under and why don't I don't just do hook? I think hook's fine. I think it's uh, a little trendy per se, but I think it's absolutely fine. But for me, uh, I basically just kind of rotate my overhand uh, every other set or so if there is a chance of imbalances. Now, I don't think the imbalances come from actually the rotation of the hand. I think over a lot of volume repetition and particular people, um, you get a little bit of helicopter going towards your overhand uh, is very common. Uh, even just getting the bar slipping away on your underhand, it's a little harder to flex that lat when you have an underhand um, and keep the bar close to your body. Uh, especially for me, conventional, that's harder to do. Sumo, I do a better job of it, but uh, I'll just switch every other set. Pulling conventional just to build the back back up. It's something I always do anyways. People, if you are new, uh, think that I only pull sumo, but I pulled conventional for over 10 years. Uh, and every year, even when sumo is the goal to hit a PR or compete or whatever, uh, I'll at least do, I don't know, three months, three to six months out of the years, I'm pulling some type of conventional uh, or more. So. Pulling conventional, probably get that back up. Just trying to have fun. Not enjoying cardio, but still trying to do it. Loosely tracking my food. And I guess, let's go. Yo, DJ. Normal mornings, like wake up seven or eight, big cup of coffee, meal, more caffeine than train. Today I got some business calls and interviews in the afternoon, so we had to train a little bit early. And only one dose of caffeine. I guess this is the result. It's, it's pretty bad how dependent I am on caffeine. Look, I'm excited for life and things, but this brain is just a little groggy in the mornings. I'm not much of a morning person. I'm becoming more of a night person. Normally I'm an afternoon guy, but uh, Misloaded my own damn bar, and not just by a couple. It's not a 10 pound misload, which is whatever. I probably wouldn't even notice. Uh, you can flash whatever you want to make fun of. Go do your thing. <laughs> How are you, silly girl? 2,500 king cakes, 2,500 dollars.
Opa, opa, opa. Uh, multiple questions, kind of. Do you deadlift on bag day or leg day? Uh, sorry I laughed. Uh, I didn't mean to laugh at you, but I'm laughing at you. And can you or why do I or how do you squat and deadlift on the same session? Now, I think regardless of your goals, whether they're athletic or strength based, performance based, um, we have to start looking at things that how many, how many times in a week or a seven day period just because that's how our 2018 schedule works can we handle these lifts and then break them up evenly so i don't necessarily whether e even if my goals switch switch purely to aesthetics i would still focus on how many squat days a week do i have how many deadlift days a week do i have how many uh, bicep curl days a week do i have rather than arm day back day leg day so um which day do you deadlift on doesn't matter. Uh, I deadlift on a Tuesday because that fits my schedule, not a back day or leg day. I try to get a certain amount of volume, a certain amount of work, and then progressively overload in those lifts. Remember, progressive overload doesn't just have to mean five pounds every week. It could be an extra rep, it could be an extra set, uh, and then progressively, over time, more weight, more volume. So that kind of answers that, I hope. So for me right now, squatting twice a week, uh, one kind of a more rep day, one kind of a more heavy day, deadlifts twice a week, kind of a rep day, kind of a heavy day, and I feel good, so I'm gonna stick with that for now. Bench about three times a week, I try to hit back about four times a week, uh, some kind of row, some kind of chin, etc. and again, progressively overload those. Why, how, or do I suggest squatting and deadlifting in the same day? I'd say for aesthetic reasons, um, again, it's neither here nor there, you can do it, uh, and they'll end up just probably having to be on the same day. I prefer to have a total rest day rather than deadlift yesterday, squat today, bench tomorrow, and not have an off day. I'd rather do both today and then take tomorrow totally off, mentally and physically. <laughs> And for powerlifting purposes, I do think it is important to get some type of squat and deadlift uh, and maybe a bench even. Uh, I know some coaches are big proponents of that because obviously uh, the conditioning to do all three is important on game day, on powerlifting meet. But I definitely think squat and deadlift in the same session can not only give you physical uh, adaptations and stimulus that you need to prepare for a powerlifting meet, but also the mental, um, where today is technically my rep um, or volume squat day, but it is my main deadlift day where the deadlifts are heavier and it's focused on strength for me rebuilding that base so uh but i still decided to do my squats first mentally for me or many of you might be like well mike you won't be able to i just pulled 500 for five singles which is the first heaviest i've done in three months or more um so why would i do you know three sets of five volume uh squats beforehand they'll fatigue you and then your deadlifts will suck sure maybe mentally for me uh, one, it kind of warms me up and I actually get actually warm doing that volume so I feel a little bit better uh, deadlifting. And two, for me mentally, it's like, okay, I pulled 500 in not only a weekly fatigue state, but in, a, in that hour, I'm already fatigued. What could I pull 500 if I was fresh or just did deadlift? So for me, it gives me a little bit of an advantage and a little bit of a confidence boost knowing that uh, if I just wanted to deadlift or even on a meet day where I have hours in between, not just 30 minutes between my squat and deadlift, uh, I know some meets there might be 30 minutes, but you get my point that there's more time in between that I'd feel pretty good. So uh, squat and deadlift on the same day, oh, is absolutely okay. Deadlifts on whatever day works best for your schedule and your general program to progressive overload. Progressive overloading in the deadlift over time, it could even be on chest day, is more important than actually what accessories you do afterwards. Hit those accessories, of course, and progressively overload on those, but the exact day does not matter. That's it for this one. Hopefully you guys like the raw gym footage. A little bit of lifting. Today's kind of my less volume because I'm only squatting uh, and deadlifting and uh, not much volume on the deadlifts, but you can hit this cardio. Be sure to smash thumbs up if you're new. Actually, just be sure to subscribe if you're new. Smash the thumbs up. I'm gonna hit this cardio and I'll catch you guys next time.